Our next guests look like your average family, but in reality, they are living every parent's worst nightmare. Hi, I'm Victoria, and this is my husband, Zach, and two out of our six children are diagnosed with metachromatic leukodystrophy, commonly known as MLD. MLD is a degenerative neurological disorder. The body's cells attack the central nervous system and the brain. When somebody has MLD, it paralyzes them. They can't eat, talk, ultimately leading to death. You develop normally until the onset of symptoms. With our daughter, Eddie, it wasn't until 15 months that we started to see a change. She went from not being able to walk very well to not walking at all. Then she couldn't crawl anymore. She was even having trouble sitting up, trouble eating, tremoring in her hands. Her language was starting to go. Oh, no. The neurologist said with the rate of progression, she did not think that Addie would survive the last six months to a year. We were devastated. We spent the entire day just crying and holding her. It was probably one of the hardest days that we've ever had. Within a month of her diagnosis, she lost the rest of her milestone. She could no longer speak. Wave at mommy, Addie. <gasps> Yay, Addie. We had to start her on two feedings. She started having seizures. Unfortunately, with this disease, she's going to keep declining. So right now we are just enjoying her and spending as much time as possible with her. Our youngest son, Ollie, also has MLD. We did the test within two weeks of his birth. It was one of the worst phone calls of my life. It was heartbreaking, just a rush of emotions that come over you. We did know that we caught it early enough and that there are a few treatments out there for us. The treatment that we're going after is the gene therapy in Milan, Italy. It's $500,000. We don't have that kind of money. We have to have Ollie to Italy before symptoms start. Once symptoms start, it's too late. I was feeling very overwhelmed and defeated and really anxious that we weren't gonna be able to get him there. My sister started this GoFundMe. Seeing the love and support from people has really brought a lot of hope. I feel like we're, we're gonna get him there and we're gonna, we're gonna save him. <laughs>